Welcome everybody to my official home tour. If you have been following me for just a little bit, you would have known that I have shown portions of my home, but never the entire home. I have officially put this house up on the market and it is officially sold. And so today I am going to just walk through the house with you. I think for a lot of you, you were very interested in seeing um, room by room and I never really got around to it. So without further ado, let me welcome you to the Besanson house. And in this house, it was shared between my husband and I and my daughter, Kelsey. Kelsey Simone, who also has a YouTube channel here. She's a beauty and fashion influencer. She's uh, an old G and she actually has moved out of the house. Actually, she's been out of our home for about two years now. So my husband and I are empty nesters and we decided that this house is just way too big for us. So keep watching this video and you will see where we are winding up. So guys, let me take you through this home. Um, I'm gonna show you Kelsey's bedroom. I'm gonna show you what used to be Kelsey's bedroom and is now our room. And I'm gonna talk to you as I go room by room, sort of spontaneously. Um, if I get any thoughts or memories regarding this house, I'm gonna share them with you. So let me start by showing you the front entryway and take you around. So guys, we're currently in the front door. If I turn around, you'll see that we just walked in through the front door. Behind me is our staircase going upstairs. Um, I'm going to just turn right around and here is where my office is. Um, this originally was, I gave to Kelsey. I gave her this workspace to sort of um, edit her videos and you know just do her desk work and whatever she needed to do so this was officially Kelsey's um, official office and when she moved out I turned it into my office so let me take you in <laughs> Um, right across from the office, we have this little front sitting room. We call this the formal room, if you will. This house is really large. You're gonna see a couple of rooms. So um, this is the little sitting room, I call it. And this fireplace, guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, how many times I have done this fireplace. So it is almost back to the original. So I'm gonna show you a little video next week showing you how I redid this fireplace. But today is all about this home tour. So here we have the little um, sitting area. And if I turn around, we have a beautiful front window here. Um, just tap there. Um, I had shown you guys how to do these pleated curtains on a on my TikTok, and I believe I have them on my reel as well. These curtain panels are not the Amazon one, although I do have them in the back room that I'll show you um, when we get to that room. These ones I've had for a while. These are from Ralph Lauren and I got these at um, Home Goods uh, about three years ago. So I absolutely love them. I wish I can find more of these. These are, let me zoom in, let me show you the linen, how beautiful the linen is on these. So yeah. So then right behind me, you can see this is the, um, the dining room. And here you may have seen me do a lot of um, tablescape videos on my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, there's a few reels of showing me how I decorated this, of how I decorated this table for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And you may notice a big change. <laughs> um, I replaced the carpet and I replaced the chairs. Originally these chairs had the France and Son mid-century generet chairs. I sold those and actually um, bought these ones to replace those ones. And I am quite happy. And I went from an eight seater to a six seater because ideally I never had eight people. I don't even have six people, but six looked better than eight. So we went down to a six seater and I absolutely love these upholstered chairs. Let me take you through. Um, they're just really, really pretty guys. They're kind of skirted, very elegant. 
Also on my channel, I redo this restoration hardwood table that I bought that was originally black. And guys, you absolutely love that video. This was a lot of work. This is an 11 foot table and I sanded the holy heck out of this table and um, just made it into more of a farmhouse sort of rustic table. And I think they should sell this style table. Maybe they do now, I'm not sure, but this is about maybe four years ago. I got it actually when we moved into the house. So um, yeah, I absolutely love this table and I just set it alongside of a beautiful dough ball, rustic dough ball tray here and added these little, um, they are plastic. I got these on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Just these little green balls, <laughs> just for some texture. spin around just literally right behind me is my kitchen so let's walk into the kitchen let me show you what that looks like and um, when I came into this house it was a very 90s design and this kitchen has <laughs> taken a very recent transformation a lot of you took notice and even suggested that I was moving and so when I redid this kitchen and I was updating you on all the recent changes and to stay tuned a lot of you already sort of figured out that I was moving and I didn't say anything, but um, kudos to you who figured it out. So the whole point of this change, a lot of you were like, wow, that's so different from your original style. And you know what guys, my style is always evolving. I never like the same thing. I'm one that gets really bored easily and I don't like trends. I love classic things and so I, I call myself very eclectic because I love so many genres of styles and I love to mix them together. So this kitchen was um, very modern and minimalistic and then it went, well, it originally started as a very 90s kitchen. It had a lot of heavy sort of lighting that was up there, outdated hardware, outdated faucet. And so we just kind of lightly transformed the kitchen just to update it a little bit more. Um, we added the curtain valance. We added, the, you know, everything is in styling, guys. Um, the styling is what really brings so much character to a kitchen. This, this kitchen can look so many ways depending on the objects that you place there. Now, funny story, we had ripped off all of these cabinets and decided to go for an open shelving um, system. I just wanted that and I still love that. And so anyway, my agent came in here. She's like, Liz, you need cabinets. And luckily my husband's so smart. Normally I don't let him save anything, but I had a feeling that we were probably going to need these cabinets. We had unbolted these cabinets and put them in our mudroom. And hence we use it for storage for like, you know, toiletries and things like that. And when our agent complained that the kitchen needed cabinets, we just quickly just removed them from the mudroom and plugged them right back. So these are the original cabinets. Um, the only change I did was change the hardware and we added a new fresh backsplash um, versus those long marble light tiles we had there. So I wanted to add a little bit more sort of a European um, farmhouse, maybe a little cottagey vibe in here. Um, it really lends to the house. The house is an original French provincial home. So I wanted to add that European touch to the kitchen. So hence, this is the reason why we went with this sort of styling. We walk a little bit um, past the stove range. You'll see my little breakfast um, table. This is where I normally am at every morning, drinking my coffee. Um, I got this table from Pottery Barn and these chairs, believe it or not, are the cutest little chairs. Here, let me pull up into one of the chairs. These little cute chairs, they're boucle and 
wrought iron and they are from Amazon, believe it or not. <laughs> if I swing around just right here, we have this really cool buffet here. And this is where I store my, um, my dinnerware, my plates and my fancy glasses here and silverware and whatever have you there. Um, if I turn a little bit around, we have this beautiful deck. Let me show you what that looks like. And it's a beautiful sunny day. We were expecting a lot of rain, but this is where we spend a lot of our time. We love being out here. It almost, this house almost feels like you are um, in a tree house because we have like three, three layers of the deck. Um, so here's the top, there's the middle, and then there's the bottom. So if you're following this channel, you guys would have seen that I redid this whole little patio section with my husband. Um, this was this was just a complete eyesore before, and we transformed it into that. And then here is our yard. This is um, another fun fact, a wildlife preserve. So we have beautiful animals. We have tons of animals that walk through our yard. We have deer, we have gophers, we have foxes, we have various um, birds, hawks, eagles that come up to these trees. And I'm going to show you a quick view here. This is the other side of the yard. Um, it's quite, and it actually, it actually goes all the way around and we have another sitting area there where Kelsey um, loves to hang out in that. There's a little hammock back there, but this is where we grill, where we have company and yeah. Okay, so coming back inside, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna spin around so you guys can see that now we're gonna go into the um, main living room. And again, this room went through so much transformation, guys. You would have remembered me pulling off the um, large built-ins that were here. I kind of regret that now, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but there were big built-ins there. And then I painted this actually not that long ago and refreshed it with a brand new carpet. And I really just love how simplistic and peaceful this room is, but um, this is the room. And if I just turn just a little bit, this is considered the sunroom. Um, and now before we go in there, a forewarning, this room had many transformations. You guys can dig into my channel and find all of them. Um, it went through lots of changes, lots of furniture changes as well. Since we have put the house up for sale, I've been getting rid of a lot of furniture. So this room is pretty much bare. So it just has a few pieces in here. It is not styled the way that I would have wanted to show you, but unfortunately people bought certain key pieces from this room. Hence there was a sideboard table um, and some other things that were filled up in this space. And so it's a little naky right now, but I'm still going to show you because I think you guys are visionaries and you guys can imagine. And for some people, they may just like it simplistic like this. Um, but this is a room that also has those beautiful linen Amazon curtains. So let's walk in. So unfortunately, um, I don't have much styled in this room, but this is that they consider the sunroom. This was an addition to the house. And again, this room had um, wall to wall sort of panels. I went ham on this room with panels and um, several different color panels. And I decided on the white linen ones. These are all from Amazon. I'll have them linked in my description box. Um, this light piece during one of my transformations was from Kirkwood, um, Kirkwood Furnishings, Kirkwood Homes, something like that. These chairs I got from Home Goods a long time ago. Um, and I've had them in my garage and since this room <laughs> needed some styling, I pulled them out and put them here. This rug is from, this rug is from Ruggables. You would have noticed that I had it originally in this space here. I decided to go with a jute rug for here and the dining room. Um, oh yeah. And by the way, this is the other side of the room. So this is a really large room. They call this the grand room or the you know, master room. And so here's the sunroom. And 
this is another entrance out to the um, the deck. And this is where we used to watch TV. So there's a TV mounted here. This is my little kitty cat, Jim, because my cat loves to hang out here with all the sunlight. So unfortunately, again, this is, uh, this is mediocre for styling, but um, yeah, they took the table that was here. I had a beautiful table here. Um, there were different chairs, so they I sold the chairs, I sold the table, I sold the sideboard, and these were remnants that were left in my house, so not too bad for having just remnants, I mean, come on, in your garage and in your basement. So I whipped this up just for staging um, for the house, so um, it, it passed the test, guys, that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, so and now we turn around, you can see the other side of the kitchen. So this is the laundry room. We don't need to see that. And it's also the entrance to our garage. Um, so let's start walking back upstairs and I'll show you. Okay, you guys, this is the master bedroom. This was Kelsey Simone's original room. It is quite different than um, how she had it. And let me just take you around. Give you a little spin here. And My little cat loves to sit right on that window there. And um, if you're curious about this paint that looks like lime wash, it's actually not. I did a faux lime wash effect. I have a video that I'm going to show you how to create this effect with just regular paint. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and here on YouTube and put your notifications on so you don't miss that content. Um, I'm gonna spin around. Here's a dresser. Everything is just sort of minimal, but I put a lot more warmth into um, this space. That's my walk-in closet. I don't need to show you that. Um, but yeah, this is how I decided to stage it for the sale of the home. And I love that we can just see the beautiful trees out in our yard. Okay. So right behind me is our master bathroom, and I believe that my last video before this one was the bathroom transformation. If you haven't seen the bathroom transformation video, it is down below in my channel, and it's under my playlist under room transformations, so you can find that video there. Um, this was an amazing project. We did decide to do the bathroom again with a European sort of cottagey feel to it and you know everyone was raving about this bathroom we are so proud of it and i'm gonna probably do something very similar in our new home i can't wait to show you all the new content that's about to come and just to let you know we bought a house in georgetown south carolina and it is quite the opposite of this home so it's kind of like does not compare to this home but we are going to make it so special we actually bought a fixer upper and we planned on doing that on purpose because I wanted to do everything from scratch. I didn't want someone else's vision or taste or anything sort of like plugged into the home. I wanted to make it truly mine from the bottom up. And it is quite smaller in size. This, this house is almost 5,000 square feet big. So it is plenty spacious. And we are now going to maybe a 2100 square foot home, which is pretty decent. But now we don't know what to do with all of our stuff. So I've been selling my things and I've been donating things and donating more than selling, guys, because the sales are moving so slow. But that's okay. I love blessing charities. So a lot of my items have been going to various charities and various people who are in need too. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you out. And right here in our landing, I'm going to just spin around. This is where the bedrooms are. So we have bedroom one, two, commons bathroom. There's another bedroom over there. So let me take you into the first bedroom. So this was another bedroom that we um, had redid. 
this bedroom went through a little transformation a couple years back. You can also find that on my playlist. We decided to, it's really sunny in here. The lighting is really bizarre. Um, so let me, let me just tap that. There we go. Wow. Okay. It was overexposed there. So this room went through a few transformations and uh, we decided to make this room a little moodier. Um, this room actually was the inspiration to start adding a little bit more warmth to our home. And so when we did this project, we kind of were embracing some darker shades. And yeah, so this, this room was the inspiration for warming up the rest of the space. If I turn around, you can see the yard from this window. Um, there's a closet there. And then here's a sweet little vanity um, fluted desk. And I'm going to just turn around. There's a twin size bed here, but you can definitely get a queen mattress in here. Many of you were complaining that the bed went from a king to a twin. I wanted the room to be, to appear larger. And so it was not necessary to have it because I didn't really have a lot of company coming over anyway. So this was just mostly for staging purposes. So coming out of this room, we're going to go into the next room here. Now, again, this is one of those FYI. <sighs> this room was originally my dressing room and it had racks and garments and um, perfume. So it was, it was pretty much a walk-in closet slash bedroom. Um, and it's not that anymore because we had to stage this room for sale. So I had to pretty much rip everything down and um, put my clothing elsewhere and make this room more of a room that a buyer can envision. So I turned it into like a little quickie um, office, if you will. Um, I, again, I had to use leftover furniture um, because I didn't really have furniture for this room. It was mainly a dressing room. So the shelves that you will see were the original shelves here and I had my perfume and my handbags and you know, you guys can envision that. Um, but I'll take you in and we can see what this room looks like now. And so walking in, this is the space and these are the um, Billy bookcases from Ikea with the extension. And this is just a little <laughs> makeshift desk and chair that I had in my basement just to kind of stage the room for sale. Um, this really cool rug is also from Ikea and I love layering rug on rug. Uh, my little kitty cat is where she hangs out. My printer, I was originally gonna make it more of an office, but then I never got around to so it. Now we walk out. This is the bathroom that my husband and I redid um, just a couple of years ago. Really, really happy with how this turned out. I had purchased this vanity from um, the Amish makers in Pennsylvania. We bought this cement top at Home Depot. So this bathroom really embraced um, some warmth as well. Um, I did some lime washing all around. It's hard to tell because the light is off, but this room, if I turn the light on, it just will blast the camera. So I'm just using the natural light right now. But there is a lime wash all over this bathroom and I added texture to this wall. Again, you have to look up this video. This video is hilarious if you find the transformation video to this bathroom. But then I added these, um, you didn't see these, but I added these little shelves um so sweet and yeah so we were really really proud of this bathroom um i really love this sink i wish we can take this with us this is so we turn around that is where my bedroom is and you can see a good perspective of that bedroom this bedroom and then now this is kelsey's bedroom oh before we get there here is a view of what we see from downstairs. So I could always see if FedEx or UPS are pulling up. I usually just see them right up here. So now this is Kelsey's bedroom. So Kelsey's bedroom mainly looked like this in the master bedroom. Kelsey's style is also very European mixed with, you know, the classics and the vintage. And if you can see, she just, the touches that she has are just really beautiful and quaint here. Um, her fireplace and the boxes and all the details that are in this room. So guys, that is the end of my home tour. I hope that you enjoyed watching the tour today. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm 
I'm going to miss this house so, so much. I even, I'm even tearing up just even saying that. And guys, I'm excited to show you the new content. I'm excited to show you all the fun DIYs that we have already pre-planned to show you guys ways that you guys can do, you know, kick butt style on a budget. And that is what my channel is all about. Of course, we can run out and go buy it. Of course, we can go out and, you know, just get contractors to build it. But why do that? If you have the time and you have the vision, you can definitely do exactly what we're about to do in this new home. So guys, get ready to come into my new home in South Carolina. It is a bit scary. According to my contractor, things are going pretty well in the new home and it doesn't look like this anymore. So I will be updating you um, once we move in um, with a fresh update of what the current status looks like. And guys, um, I wanna thank you so much um, for following this channel and, you know, and supporting all of my crazy sort of transformations and DIYs. I'm excited to take you through to the new one. So without further ado, Let's enter the new home in Georgetown, South Carolina. So I am documenting our very first day of owning our home. We are actually haven't even signed the paperwork yet. We're waiting for a realtor to show up to head to the attorney's office. But behind us is our cute little humble home and I'm excited to show you what this little house is going to look like in just a few months here so we are excited to take on a new chapter a new journey a new state new friends and so I hope that you all come along with us and see this transformation Stinky poo. Oh my. There's some mold. Okay. It's 2000. 